Hi. So today I'm going to show you how to change one of your pages in your document to landscape. Now in previous videos I've used a Mac version and I've used a format tool in a top menu which many people in a PC can't access. So the reason I've made this video again is to show you how to do it in a slightly different way where you can do this on a PC or a Mac. So the first thing I need to do is tell Word which section of my document I want to turn. So the first thing I need to do is to tell Word which element of my document. So the first thing I need to do is to tell Word which parts of my document I want to change to landscape. So in order to do that, I want to change this so for demonstration purposes, I want to change this page here into landscape. So I need to tell Word to section off the page before and the page after so that I can just turn this page round. So the way in which I do that is I'm going to put my cursor on the bottom right corner of the page previous to my landscape, to the page I want to turn landscape. Then I'm going to go up to Layout, if you're on a PC it will be Page Layout. And then I'm going to go down to this icon here, Breaks, and click on the drop down. Now I'm going to go to this next page under Section Breaks. It must be under Section Breaks because we need to identify a new section in this document in order to just change this one page. If we don't, we will simply just change all of the pages in our document to landscape. So I've now hit the section break and in order to check it's there, if I go to the home tab and I click on this icon here, the paragraph icon, you can see at the bottom here is two funny lines. That indicates there is a section break. And then again, I need to go to the bottom of my page and I need to insert another section break in order to in order for Word to continue my document as normal after this page has been turned to landscape. So if I click down at the bottom here again and I go back up to layout or page layout, click on the icon again on the drop down and under section breaks once again click next page and once again down at the bottom here if you've got the paragraph icon clicked or checked you'll see you have a section break at the bottom now what has happened here now as a result of putting these two section breaks in we've effectively isolated this area here into a new section so whatever we do within this area, it will only apply to this area or section. So if we click on this page, anywhere on this page, and then we go up again to Layout or Page Layout, and go along to the Orientation icon and click on the drop-down, then we can simply go to the Landscape icon and click Landscape. As you can see, it has turned two pages to Landscape, but what it has done is just turned the section into landscape. So if you only wanted the information on your portrait page on one page, then you have to make some adjustments. But what it has done is see here between your section break here and your section break here, it has turned though that whole section to landscape. Now, there's a couple of things that you can do to get the information that you want on this one page. The first thing you can do is reduce the size of your font. So you just simply click the section, go to the Home tab, and on this Decrease Font Size icon, just click until your font's reduced to the size that you want and that will fit on the page. <coughs> now, for many of you, that's not actually a viable option because you don't want to reduce the size of your font. So we'll just go back. And the other thing that you can do is because we're now dealing with this section alone,
we can simply increase or decrease the size of our margins. So ideally, it would be better to perhaps increase, decrease the size of our top and bottom margins. So if we just ensure that our cursor is on this section, and then we go up to the layout tab, and then we go to the margins icon here, and then go down to custom margins. Now this dialog box here will appear, and then we just want to be concerned with top and bottom. So we can use the drop down, so we can use these arrows here just to adjust those margins to fit the text. So if I decrease by clicking the bottom arrow, I'm just going to decrease those margins slightly. I'll put it at 1.5, click OK, and you can see that those top margins have reduced. Equally, if we go up to that dialog box again and reduce the bottom margin, you can type these figures in if you want to, and click OK then our bottom margin has reduced and we have more of the text on our page. As you can see here, we've got two return keys. So just ensure that you get rid of all of your return keys to ensure that your text is actually at the top of the page. And as you can see now, by reducing the margins at the top and the bottom, we've got all the text that we had on that single portrait page now on our landscape page. You can, of course, reduce the size of the margins to the left and the right of your text if you're uncomfortable with these margins at the top and bottom. Perhaps you've got some page numbers, some footer information, some author information, and you don't really want to fiddle about with those margins. You can always go to the side margins and reduce those. And you do that in exactly the same way, just by going up to the custom margins tab. And then you can use the left and right margin figures and uh, just decrease those. So if I put 1.5 in here, and let's say I put 1.5 in here, click OK, you can see I've reduced the margins on the left and right as well. Now just a word of warning, if you do continue to type or add anything in this section between the section breaks, then it will continue that landscaping format to the next page. So let me just highlight some text and show you. Um, so I've just copied that. If I just paste it in here, you can see that it will carry that text over. In reverse of what we've just done, if you then just continue typing or adding content before this section break, it will continue the landscaping pages on. So it's really important that you format your document first, identify which page you want to turn and the contents of that page which you want to turn round. So you'll end up going backwards and forwards trying to move section breaks and uh, the text uh, and it just gets a little bit confusing. So it's probably best to do it at the end of your document or unless you're absolutely sure what you need to apply to that section such as a table. And I have got another video on how to put a, a table into Word and to turn the page landscape. So um, do have a look at that if you need to. If you decide that actually it's the wrong page and you don't want to turn this particular page into landscape, then all you need to do is press the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC and then just click your mouse on to this section break. Then just press the delete key. And exactly the same here, you just press the command or the control key click and then just press the delete key. So I hope that helps. Apologies for the previous videos which included a menu on the Mac which didn't help some people but I do hope that this video has helped uh, those of you who got a little bit stuck. Um, if it has please subscribe and have a great day.